Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're taking you to the bustling resort town of Sunny Beach, Bulgaria to find out if this place is all party or if it's a good option for families. Join us as we explore the crazy main street at night, discovering all the fun things to do while tasting street food along the way. Then we'll show you around the family-friendly hotel we decided to stay at. Of course, we can't visit Sunny Beach without hitting the infamous beach. And finally, we'll make a splash at Action Water Park. So is Sunny Beach good for kids? Let's find out. We are here at the Las Vegas of Bulgaria, Sunny Beach. Yes, we are gonna explore this street over here right behind us. It is Flower Street, one of the main pedestrian streets here in Sunny Beach. And it's filled with restaurants, uh, vendors, shopping, casinos. And of course gambling, casinos, lots yes. of casinos. So that's why it's kind of like the Las Vegas of Bulgaria. And of course they do have a beach though. So it's Las Vegas with a beach. So might have one up on Las Vegas in that respect. We'll find out. Us locals, we don't look at Sunny Beach very kindly. <laughs> yeah, she's from Bulgaria, so she knows all about Sunny Beach and its infamacy. And exactly. it's not really, it's known as basically a party. Yeah, a party Party town. resort town. It's not really the culture of Bulgaria. So the locals are, you know, it's still a fun place to party, but they get a lot of Russian tourists, a lot of UK tourists coming here. And what they're looking for is to party it up, gamble, have and a good time. have some cheap beers. Exactly. <laughs> but in this video, we're going to find out if Sunny Beach is actually family friendly, if there's something to do with the kids. Yes, because we got our two boys here. We sure huh? do. <laughs> yeah. Can you get a balloon? And it's already beginning. Right of course, us. yeah. Of course, yeah. there's balloons. There's ice cream all over the place. I see arcade games. So far, it's, it's kind of looking not too bad. We'll find out as the night progresses. It's still fairly light, and I hear it gets pretty rowdy here at nighttime. So we'll oh, see yeah. if we're gonna stick around. It is we'll a 24 that. hour like party town, <laughs> just like Las Vegas. So we are from Las Vegas, so we're gonna compare it to the Las Vegas nightlife here. Well, we're not gonna well, explore all the nightlife with the kids, but you know, yeah. we'll get a little- We're not gonna stay up that late, but we'll get a little <laughs> taste of it. All right, all right let's go. Let's go. Look at this giant bear. He looks like like the Coca-Cola bear yeah. that you see like for Christmas commercials. <laughs> Why right, the Coca-Cola gummy bear? Yeah, he's giant, huh? Do you want a picture with him? He's the he's got he's the Sunny Beach bear. Whoa, whoa, he's a good, good guy. <laughs> I don't know. He, yeah, that's true because it's hot here, right? Yeah. He likes to be in the snow. You scouting out for some ice cream, Logan? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah? What kind of ice cream do you want? Oreo. Is that? Oreo. Oreo. 
You don't want to try something new? So exciting. <laughs> now the kids spotted Burger King. So of course, naturally, they're oh, trying deep. to get an Oreo milkshake from Burger King now. <laughs> All right, we can find something a little more fun than that. Oreo shake from Applebee's. Is that from Applebee's? <laughs> I think it's from Burger King. But... Oh, okay. It is Burger King, but the Oreo shake is actually... Well, let's find something that you can't get back home, okay? Something that we can't back, back home. This Connor, you want some dragon breath? Yeah. And they actually put liquid nitrogen. It's yeah. in the same oh, Woo! It's in the it doesn't <laughs> hurt you. It's okay, Connor. It's okay. <laughs> He's a dragon, Connor. Nice green. <laughs> All right, let's try this thing. Uh, All right, Connor. Eat responsibly, Connor. Ready? You put it in your mouth and then you can breathe fire. Go ahead, put it in your mouth. Bite it. Now, can you breathe? Oh, yeah. Let me see your dragon breath. <laughs> you did it through your nose. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let me see this thing. Oh, my God. I don't exactly know what this is. Is it cereal? I don't know. I don't know, but you definitely need the, you definitely need the paper towel because it just like froze my hand when I touched it without the paper towel. Okay, ready? <laughs> it came out of your nose. <laughs> Can I touch some more? Yeah, of course. That is Don't weird. touch it directly though. Use the little stick. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, let's see your breath. Ah. <laughs> this is really, really crazy. I mean... <laughs> well, watch out. I'll hold it because it froze my hand. Cup is so cold. Is it, it's, is it cereal? Is that what it is? Don't touch it, Connor. This is seriously dangerous for kids. Yeah, it because, is. Because I don't know. They gave me this thin paper towel, and uh, <laughs> and if I don't use the paper towel, <laughs> it was like freezing my hand. It is the weirdest thing. Did you try it yet? No, I didn't try it yet. Oh, it doesn't really have any flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if you like, if you actually chomp on it, it actually releases more. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh, Connor? And over here, we're getting some rolled ice cream. All right, Logan's All right, ready to try it. Chomp on it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Logan? Let's try to get two dragons at once. Ready? Okay, ready, Connor? You got to chomp on it. Ready? All right, come on, Logan. Come on, Logan. Come on, Logan. Two dragons. You can have a dragon fight. Dragon fight. You got to chomp on it. <laughs> and Logan's ice cream over here is coming together. Rolled ice cream. Are you excited, Logan? Yeah. Ready? What flavors did we get? Mm, I forgot. Oreo, oh. yeah. chocolate, and Twix. So it's pretty much tasteless. It's just like a. I don't know, it's like a blueberry cereal, but it doesn't have much taste to it. So I guess it's just the gimmick of the dried ice. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright Logan, ready for yummy rolled ice cream? Alright. <laughs> Oh, hey, Logan. Wow, okay. <laughs> that looks good, Logan. Let me try. He's been seeing the rolled ice cream in many different places around Burga. And he's been wanting to try it. So finally, he gets his chance. Oh, they're both chowing down on it. What do you think, guys? Amazing. Amazing? I guess the way you're digging into it speaks for itself. Is it good? <laughs> what do you think, Logan? Like it. How is it compared to regular ice cream? Way better. Way like better? better? Uh, yeah. Let me try it. Can I try it, Connor? I'll be the judge of this. Let's <laughs> see. 
Whoa, Connor's doing some kind of tribal dance over there. Watch out. <laughs> this place definitely has a vibe to it. It's getting busier as yeah. the sun went down. It kind of reminds me of like Fremont Street in Las Vegas. Yeah. Kind of like wild and crazy stuff around every corner. Wild and crazy. So it's kind of like an old school Vegas with a beach. <laughs> All right, let's see this ice cream concoction. So it has white chocolate, Oreo, and Twix. All right. And Twix too, huh? That's good. So it'll have some caramel in there. Oh, that's really good. You get like tiny little pieces of the candies. I'm just happy they're sharing so nicely and they didn't I know. require their, their own. <laughs> he crushed up the candies really, really finely before he added like the milk and then froze everything. And so you get like little tiny pieces of like the, the candies in each bite. It's really good. Go. It's really good. It's always good to have some uh, tasty ice cream after some tasteless dragon's bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, would not recommend the dragon's bread. Well, it was it's, just, fun. it's a fun gimmick, sure, but it was 10 love. Yeah. Kind of expensive for a gimmick. <laughs> this was also 10 love. I mean, you are the, you know, popular tourist destination. Things are going to cost a little more over here. That's just normal. to come out they're my favorite dessert here in bulgaria and they're gonna be topped with nutella but they're like freshly fried donuts like mini donuts they are so good look at that oh just like fluffy delicious i love donuts some yeah <laughs> yeah so i have had these once before and they kind of remind me a little bit like fun like a thicker funnel cake kind of uh material so not like a all over the place strudel like a funnel cake but in a donut form so pretty good stuff Whoa. Mm. that is messy and very tasty <laughs> but yeah it is a little bit hot still but I think I'll wait a couple more minutes and let the kids try them. Ready to try these kids? I know I am. So, look at that thing. These are a little bigger than typical. It's stuffed with Nutella. Oh, it's stuffed with Nutella too. No, I didn't no, no. It. No, it's topped. Oh, topped with Nutella, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I didn't feel that it was stuffed. No, no, it. there's it's no stuffing. Yeah. It's topped, but it's very pillowy, no, delicious. You can try it, but be warned, they're still kind of warm. Right. It should be about ready. Ah, how was it? Delicious. Delicious? All right. Yeah, they're really, really good. I wish they had more Nutella on them, actually. But besides that, they're actually really good. Giant panda. Giant panda? There's giant panda, Connor. Yeah, I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kids getting crushed by the panda. The panda's like terrorizing the kids. He like ran over a little kid. I was like, oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think she just spanked him. Oh, oh no, it's the child trap. <laughs> oh, this is only uh, ten left, so that's that's cheap at least. That one's twenty. Of course, he's gonna go for the bigger one. He's not gonna go for the small one. No, you need a handheld, Connor. It's more portable. He needs a sniper. Let me see this one in action. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's gonna be super annoying for us. I love it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You ready to do this, Connor? Logan, you're next, right? No. No? Why not? You don't want to do it? No. <laughs> All right, so Connor has done a small one of these before, but never a big one. He looks really small in this thing. I keep waiting for a smile. I haven't seen one yet. He was super excited to do this and happy. We'll see if he gets used to it and uh, gets a smile here. Shake your ass. So are you enjoying the shirtless guy that's helping him out there? I mean, I don't mind it. <laughs> he does have abs. I don't have abs currently. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Connor. That wasn't that scary, was it? That's the best one I ever done in my life. That's the best one you ever done in your life? Second. Oh, second, <laughs> oh, second one you ever done. Great. All right, buddy. Yeah, Connor. So you did a, you did a flip, but I actually missed it. I missed the flip, buddy. I'm sorry. So that you did a small one before, but you never did a big one like this, huh? Was it awesome? Yeah. You look a little scared. Are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit scared. You have the time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that. What glitters sink gold? I'm fine on my own But I hate being on the outside Looking through a window I say I don't want it But I'm so full of it I wanna be the life of the party I wanna dance with somebody Be ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna hold on to somebody Be ooh, ooh, Oh yeah, so everywhere we've been going in Bulgaria, I have been trying the Duners, which is basically chicken kebab and similar to a Euro. We are gonna compare them to other Duners I've had and see how good they are. So we made a little stop and like I said, I love my Duners. So we're gonna try this. This is the third one that I've had in Bulgaria. So trying different ones in different cities. It doesn't look super saucy. Judging by the first bite, yeah, not enough sauce. Hopefully it'll have more when we go down. This is definitely not my favorite. I would say the one that I had on the beach at Saxon Beach was the best. So I don't know, maybe this is the one they give you when you've been drinking 10 beers and you don't know the difference. <laughs> All right, so we're back to where we started in the beginning of our night. Yeah, we got our first taste of basically all the shops and all of the uh, things for kids to do here in sunny beach at nighttime yeah it's, it's 11 o'clock yeah <laughs> slightly past 11 o'clock 
o'clock. It is pretty busy. I would recommend coming here on a weeknight. We're here on a Wednesday. It's pretty busy. I can't imagine what the weekend's like. Yeah, it's kind of hard to navigate with the kids, of course. Sometimes Connor just wants to skip away on his own, so we have to keep on making sure that we have a hand on him. Uh, but yeah, easy to lose kids in the crowds for sure. Uh, we really didn't see any like and drunken, crazy. disorderly craziness. Too. It's easy to lose your parents in a crowd? Yeah, they ran away from me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think it might have been the other way around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like we have some uh, fireworks on the beach back there. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. unexpected. They must have known that we were ending our night and they wanted to see us off properly. Exactly. So they did that. But yeah, I would say definitely weekday, like she said. Yeah. And uh, it the, wasn't too crazy. It was actually better than I was anticipating. <laughs> it's fairly clean. It is busy. There is a lot of shopping. It's, it, you know, there is certain things that may not be the most appropriate. Yeah, apart there's from the store. There was some sex shops and obviously strip clubs and everything. I mean. Nothing you wouldn't see in Las Vegas, but and a lot of people honest, still bring kids there. Yeah, well, there was so much to distract the kids, but they didn't even notice those things because, like, there's so many lights and stores and balloons for them and things for them to do that they were completely distracted by anything else. Yeah, and I was surprised that there is still a lot of kids out at 11 at night, so many. like all over the place. So, so it's not like not like there's not any kids out run, roaming the streets like with our kids. So uh, they felt comfortable because of that too. So tomorrow I'll be exploring more of the sitting during the daytime, so. Yeah, and then of course, we're gonna see the beach at Sunny Beach. Absolutely. So excited for that, so stay tuned. We are going to give you a quick tour of where we're staying in Sunny Beach. So we're staying a little bit away from the beach, like a 10 minute walk, but we definitely saved a lot of money staying at one of these condo hotels. So it's cool because they have the you know, the kitchen, everything you need if you wanted to do a more extended stay. We're only staying for two nights and we spent the night here. So we're gonna give you a tour. Uh, <laughs> all right, look. So, you see it's very beautiful on the outside. Yeah, so this does stay locked at night and they have security. Feels really inviting when you walk in. You have these little elephants over here. <laughs> See, even their signs, their sweet home signs. Very beautiful with all the flowers. Yeah, I feel like it's going well with the, the new Barbie movie theme. <laughs> it's like Barbie's dream condo. Okay, so you come in and it's picture frame mirrors with flowers on the top. Pretty neat. Come on in. I want to meet you up the stairs. Okay, meet you up there. Yep. <laughs> Waiting for us. And once again, they got their branding everywhere. Beautiful yeah. staircases as well. And then when you look up, it's actually the trees in the sky. Pretty cool. Hello. All right. Hi. <laughs> hey, Connor. Welcome to our hotel apartment. <laughs> condo hotel. Yeah, yeah it's condo hotel. It's really, really cute. So we paid a little over $100 uh, per night for this room. And it is a one bedroom suite. So right here, we have a little kitchenette. So it does have a stove top. Doesn't, does not have an oven, but at least it has that. And then in here, they did have some plates, pots and pans, um, knives, silverware. So if you wanted to cook, you can. Yeah, we're only doing two nights here, but yeah. this is actually set up for an extended stay or even if somebody just wanted to live here and be on permanent vacation. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> it's pretty nice. They do have a toaster, they have a microwave. A toaster, toast. <laughs> the built-in freezer and fridge. <laughs> Are you a toaster, Connor? And yeah. then, yeah, it's a built-in fridge, which I really, really like. Yeah. I actually really like that it's kind of hidden. I didn't even realize this was a fridge at first. Yeah, so it's, it might be a little bit dirty because we already spent the night here, but um, I, I already explained it as I think this is like the Barbie dream condo. I think so. <laughs> I actually love the decor. It's like very like girly, kind of classy, maybe not what Chris would have liked. A little too feminine for me. So I couldn't see like a bunch of guys going to sunny beach and getting this hotel. No, I, yeah. think, I think this hotel definitely targets more so families. It's in a much quieter area of Sunny Beach. The pool area is very kid friendly, it has a playground um, that we saw yesterday. We're going to go and explore yeah, in a little I bit here. Yeah, you guys are going to go to the pool later, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but over here, there is a dining room 
for four people, which is nice. A nice couch, which pulls out into a bed where the kids slept last night. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, the and we do have a little patio out there. We now, we didn't get the view patio. They were all sold out, but... We got the last three. We booked a very, very last minute. <laughs> yeah. It was the last one, I think, available. So book ahead if you want to but get these places. But it is really cute. It's a nice little patio. They could even have a bigger table here if they wanted to. But it's nice. Pretty pretty quiet area. You can also get to the patio from the bedroom. bedroom so Definitely. we do have a TV here. There is one TV here and one in the bedroom. Now so, it's not okay. a smart TV. So if uh, if you want to watch American television, there's only select channels that actually are in English. So maybe bring your Fire Stick. That's what we did. Um, so the kids could watch some TV last night. What if they don't have a fire stick? <laughs> That's true. They're my... only like thirty dollars. Those yeah, are looking at fire stick. I brought my tablet oh. yeah. to watch. Yes, you on did. On YouTube, kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Connor was fine without it. I got, my, I got my iPad to watch. <laughs> yeah. So there is a TV in the bedroom too, which is really really nice. It's a yeah. decent size. The bed. Wasn't the most comfortable. I would say the pillows were better than most hotel pillows. They were a little firmer. Yeah, um, it's kind of very, very springy. It's a very springy bed. <laughs> it, it's not the worst bed I've ever slept on, but it's not the best. Yeah, and it did have pretty good storage. Yes, very good. Good amount of storage. Um, mm. Good size closet, a nice large mirror, which is always a good thing. Now the bathroom does not connect from the bedroom. Um, so you do have to kind of go around the corner here, which is not that big of a deal. They do have some hanging things over here, the little shoe rack. So I actually really like their decor and touches. Just seems homey, even though it's a hotel, it does seem like, you know, like you're in the home. And the bathroom is not huge, but hey, it's a decent size. It does have a hair dryer. Um, it has washer. a washing machine, which is really nice. Now, this is not a dryer. They do have a drying rack in the living room, but at least it has that. And then the shower is decent size. Um, they did provide some shampoo and body wash. There is no um, laundry detergent. So if you want to do laundry, you have to buy your own, but hey, at least it has yeah. a washing machine. And they do have a little touches, like they're branded embossed towels and everything. So they do supply towels and things like that. Yeah. fun with so, keys. So what do you think, you like this place? I know the pool, the pool is, looks pretty cool. The keys, yeah. They got the a shark at fun. the pool. So we gotta check that out. <laughs> and even though this area is pretty quiet, whenever we were walking through, there is actually a lot of different like little restaurants and grocery stores that are super, super close, like within like a three minute walk from here. Yeah, and um, then 10 so minutes to the beach. And so. 10 minutes to the beach, 10 minutes to the main strip on sunny beach. So it's still very, very close. It's just a little bit removed from all the noise of sunny beach. So as a family hotel, I so far would recommend. Oh, I'm so excited to check it out. Yeah. Oh my God, it is very nice. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? I wonder if the water's cold. It's pretty cold, but whenever you get into it, it gets it, Yeah, it, if you can't need to get used to it. All right, try it out, buddy. It probably looks like the ocean. Oh look, they got a shark over there. They got a shark. It's too cold. Do you mind this? Because it looks sick. Of, uh, <laughs> Can you go in the shark's mouth? <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like these teeth actually shoot out water, but it's not shooting out. Oh, you are inside the shark. <laughs> oh no, you're getting eaten, Connor. You're
So at our hotel here, they do have a little vending machine. It looks like they do have a little setup for parties and have a little bar set up here. But unfortunately, unlike a lot of the places on Sunny Beach, there's not an attached restaurant. So that's probably something now that I see that a lot of them have that, that I wish I would have booked a place that had like an attached restaurant where you could just, you know, get some food while you're at the pool and everything and not have to leave your actual hotel resort. So they do have a vending machine though, right? Yep. <laughs> so what kind of stuff do they have? They have some stuff that we don't have in the United States here. Um, some wafers and different stuff here. And then they do Wait, have stuff that we do have. Then I have wafer ice cream. Look at this, they got a Kit Kat Chunky. I don't remember seeing that before. And, oh, look, they actually have beer. So I haven't seen that in a vending machine. So basically, you I kids, super I wouldn't even know if I gave you kids money and you went and bought a beer in the vending machine. So that's not very responsible, huh? I'm not gonna buy beer. I don't even like fizz. <laughs> you don't even like soda, huh? Oh, wow, look. Chupa Chups. Hey, that is a that is the brand that makes uh, lollipops. That makes the lollipops, huh? They have a water. And then they have some Heineken. They have some Bulgarian beers. Wow. So, yeah, you can actually just get your own beer. I guess you don't need a bartender by the pool. <laughs> All right, so here you go. Wait. Here's some money. You guys can get a snack from here. First. All right, what one do you want? Yeah. Don't mess it up. Okay, you got Skittles? Yeah. Okay, good. And what do you want, Logan? What do I want? Hmm. Are you going to get something you've never had before? Um, like, look at I these want, wafers. I know what I want. I know what I want. They got some cool wafers up here. Um, I want... They're big, too. They're like Bulgarian wafers. All right, there you go. You got $2 in credit. So what are you going to get? Okay, you got a Snickers bar. So nothing exciting. Yes. All stuff that we can get back home. Right. All right. <laughs> All right, well, hey. Oh, you're rich. You're rich. Okay. You got to give the rest to daddy. Give the rest to daddy. He can buy a beer later. I want to get something. Okay. Here you go. All right, <laughs> thanks. This is craziness, Logan. Logan, what do you think? Too crazy, Logan? Wow, that's a lot of people. Okay, so I'm kind of into crazy beaches and this is a little too crazy. Not that they're like, partying, drunk and disorderly or anything, but it's just busy. There is a lot of families and kids here building sand cows and everything, but my kids just don't seem happy with the crowds. You don't like this big crowd, do you, Logan? You like a more relaxing beat? Yeah. What do you think, Connor? What are your thoughts? First impressions? It's so hot. It's hot? Yeah. Well, we're gonna get in the water, don't worry. You can get in the water. It's I nice know. and shallow, it looks like. So that's good. Doesn't appear to be a lot of seaweed, which is great. So we have run into a lot of seaweed in Bulgaria. This looks like pretty clear water, pretty shallow. It's just busy. So yeah, it is a yellow flag right now, which just means swim with caution. And uh, there's people really far out there. Still standing up. So the water is shallow, the waves 
aren't very strong today. So as far as the actual, like, you know, if it wasn't so busy, I think I would really like this beach. Dad, guys, come on in with me. Come on with you. We're here at the beach at Sun Beach. So it lives up to its name. It's <laughs> sunny and it has a beach. It's definitely <laughs> very sunny today. So there is free areas where you can bring your own umbrella and towels, or there is the paid areas where the loungers, you obviously pay for them. <laughs> and they're 10 lev for a lounger, 10 lev for an umbrella. So you are going to pay a premium here than you are, like for, let's say, in Burgas. The loungers there are 1 lev and 20 cents. <laughs> yeah, so obviously there's a lot more people competing for those here so they're more expensive also we were just took a quick look and tried to find some to rent and it seems like there was none in the area they were all booked up so you would have to come earlier in the day we came a little later in the day yeah. after lunchtime so in hindsight yeah we should have came earlier got a nice lounger close yeah. to the water and been able to relax a little yeah, more. Yeah, I think you need to come like very early in the morning to be able to score a closed lounger. Yeah. But the water here is really nice. It's very clean, very shallow, the soft, like soft sand going into the water. It is a very wide... You like the sand, Connor? Yeah, Connor's Connor. playing in the sand Connor. right now. Yeah. Connor, you love the sand here? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we only did uh, two days here, so we should have done a third day, especially since we took the one day to explore in the Severn. Yeah, there's a lot to do here in Sunny Beach. Um, it, it's not exactly my vibes. The beach is very, very, very crowded. There's no way oh, yeah. to escape the crowd. Either. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no <laughs> relaxing that much here. But it's it is. Not, it's not extremely loud or anything, but no. it's just a lot of people. A lot mm -hmm. of people in the water. So if you're looking for a tranquility and like a calm beach where you can be one of the few people on the beach it's definitely not it no. but it is a fun place to come and explore and be at a resort there are so many resorts here to try out there's massages in the beach there's a lot of beach bars there's not really restaurants directly on the beach no you have to kind of go off the main boardwalk which is a very long boardwalk actually to get to like all the restaurants and shops and all of that so if you want like a meal on the beach yeah, I would say like convenience would be a thumbs down for this. It's definitely not a convenient beach. Not, I don't see any like, you know, showers coming off the beach or anything like that. Maybe there's one over there that I missed, but I think that's for the, you know, for the, for the hotels. So I think maybe if you were staying at a hotel right on the beach and you had that little private area off the hotel, it might be a better experience. But if you're just one of the many here, just trying to set up camp here on the beach, it is a bit hectic. Hectic, yep. So... That's kind of it for now. Yeah, and then uh, we're gonna go to the water park after this. Yeah, we're gonna explore that next. The, the, the kids have not been to a water park here in Bulgaria yet, so might as well give it a go in Sunny Beach. All right, we'll see you there. Oh, it looks like we got, we got Paw Patrol here on the beach taking pictures with people. <laughs> hey, Connor, look at that. Who's that from Paw Patrol? Who is that? Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, we see his we see his face. <laughs> hey, Logan. Did we lose your brother? No. Yes, we lost him. He's her. being lazy in a different part of the river. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go look for him. Da -na 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 -na. Hey, Logan. Living your, living your best life over there. <laughs> Getting a little crowded here. Looking for Connor. Aha, uh -huh. I see him. Hey, 
Hey, Connor, found you. <laughs> ah, you were being lazy in a whole different part of the river, huh? Yeah. I was worried you might not be doing okay. How you doing? Good. You're doing good? Just relaxing? And I actually got a boost. Someone fell off their thing and they got a boost. Oh, you got a boost because they fell off and it pushed yeah. you fast? And it was keep pushing me. Okay, let's go slow down and then wait for Mommy and Logan, okay? Should we wait for Mommy and Logan? Yeah. All right, I see him coming, Connor. Aha, there you are. Here we are. Now we're all together. Hey, Logan. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> took forever. You took forever, Mama? Hey, hey, Connor. You ready to go on this wilder side? Yes. We're up pretty high, huh? Yeah. You ready for this, Mama? <laughs> ready or not? All right, Connor. You're going with me, dude. <laughs> okay, you're gonna be in front of me, Connor. Logan, you're going with Mama. <laughs> yeah. We'll give you a push. <laughs> Woo! Okay, front this way. All right, Connor, hold on. Woo! All right. Whoa! Woo! All right, Connor. <laughs> wow! Ah. You like it, Connor? Woo! All right. I went under at the end. That was awesome. So we've been waiting a while for the waves to start. It says that they do it for 20 minutes, once an hour. So I kind of like a lot of other parks that we went to. They did it more often for a little bit shorter period of time. So then you're not always missing it. So we missed it the first time and then we've been waiting a while. So our oldest Logan did not like the last water slide. So he's a little apprehensive to do anything else in the park. We we're trying to get him on. We actually went on the biggest slide first, which was probably a mistake in hindsight. So we probably should have started out with some smaller slides. <laughs> probably, but it was the closest to us. So we figured, eh, might as well go start yeah. with a bang, but. But Connor over here, he loved it, you know? <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately now he's gonna sour on the slide. Hopefully we can get him to go on some of the smaller ones. I like your water dance there, Connor. So what do you think about these waves? They're pretty lame, huh? The waves are pretty lame, aren't they? Yeah. They're a lot bigger at some other ones we went to, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I wish they were a little stronger. But it is good for the littles. Like if you have smaller children, these waves are good for them. You don't have to worry about them too much. Mama Logan. <laughs> All right. Good job, Connor. That was, was that, fun. Was that scary? No. <laughs> All right. That's nice. Yeah. You missed it. We just saw some guy that is his shorts just fell off. He was naked when he came down the slide. <laughs> Are you guys ready to go now? They said that was the first time that they've ever seen this. Of course, we didn't put on film, but. The guy came down and was holding his shorts like they fell off like halfway down the slide. So pretty funny. Hey, Connor. Hey. What are you going to get on next? Huh? The green one. You want to get on the green one? Yeah. Oh, that'll take a cool one. All right. We'll make it happen. Hello. So Logan wasn't too happy that we went on the biggest slide first, but now he has agreed to go on a medium sized slide. Right, Logan? Yes. Okay. 
We're gonna go in this yellow slide right here. Right here. All right. Okay. You ready to do this, Logan? Uh, All right. You're not scared, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Woo! Yeah! Woo! with the weight distribution ratio with me and one of my little kids seems like I always end up flipping under the water that's great what do you think Logan it's scary scary <laughs> all right let's see where Connor went okay so we found the big kid area so that means mom and dad get to lounge while the kids get to go play on the medium little slides. Yeah, the medium little slides. <laughs> All right, go for it, Logan. Go for it, Logan. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold? Ah, uh, it'll warm up. I Is it cold? The last time. I don't know. <laughs> it's not that cold. Go for it. That's a wrap for Sunny Beach, Bulgaria. It definitely has a very fun vibe to it. It's not exactly my vibe, I would say. It was probably my vibe when I was 25. <laughs> like, exactly. replace like uh, Mexico spring break with that. Yeah, similar, similar, similar party atmosphere or maybe uh, Florida. <laughs> although I was surprised of how much there was actually to do for kids. There was a lot of different um, arcade games. There was a lot of different like bungee jumping or amusement park rides or yeah. kids characters fun food all fun that stuff fun food yeah. so i mean there was actually a good amount of thing to do just the vibe of it was very chaotic very yeah. loud very spring breaky yeah. <laughs> when we asked the kids uh, we, we say how'd you like sunny beach they're like oh it was fun they actually so, enjoyed it i guess that's what's important yeah, but they, we had to worry about it. i mean they don't see into all of it of no. course through a child's eyes they don't see that there's a lot of crazy people that are drinking, running around, or that they're almost getting run over by people on scooters and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, basically it's it's fun. It's a fun place. It's just not for everyone. And it just depends on what you're looking for in your trip. Yeah. I'm glad that we went for a couple of days, but after that, I was really happy to go back to a more quiet place. <laughs> yeah, and I do, I will reiterate what I said before about like, it's basically like Las Vegas with a beach. More like, you know, like Fremont Street, Las Vegas, like old Vegas, but with a beach. So you have your strip clubs, your gambling, and you got a beach. So that's one thing Vegas is missing. They just have the pool parties, but no beach. Now, speaking of the beach, the beach was beautiful. It was very yeah. clean, was very shallow. clear, very shallow, but beautiful busy. water, but <laughs> so busy i mean it was just you had to go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people to make it to the beach to yeah get, to we make just it to the water. we just sat at the very back because we didn't want to deal with finding a place in between people <laughs> on the beach so we we're like we're just sitting up we'll go in the very back row here. yeah and i i prefer more a little bit quieter beaches you know still to have like activities and amenities on the beach but just like less people so that wasn't my ideal beach but it was a pretty beach it was very calm water for the kids so there was there ups positives and negatives so the one thing that actually really surprised me with sunny beach is their infrastructure yeah like the, not really any crosswalks not really any sidewalks most places no so that's kind of hard when you're walking with kids too yeah you gotta worry about that we always had a hand on them when we were going through those places because we were afraid they're gonna run off into the street and get run over <laughs> yeah considering it's a very touristy town and it's not a huge town i was yeah. thinking it would have you know you would be able to walk easily to the beach or to the little restaurants and if you're on the ma very main street like flower street that one is a pedestrian street but everything else like if you're even a little 
little bit off the the main street then it's pretty pretty crazy drivers they don't stop for you yeah, you kind of have would to think maneuver with, you would think with kids that they would like at least like oh look it's little kids maybe we need to slow down or stop yeah no, no. i think they just go faster i don't know <laughs> like, and then care. taxis are super expensive yeah. Very pricey. They kind the of price shortest. fixed it. Like we, we, yeah. we tried to go to three different taxis and we're like, ah, too much. And they all kind of like said, oh, no, Dang it's going to cost like 30 other. euro to go to the water park whenever we went to the water it park. Was, it was crazy. <laughs> Just like it, th that part, I did not like the infrastructure. Did the not buses like the were buses horrible. were terrible, crowded. Yeah. So just overall, it wasn't the vibe for me. But nonetheless, it would appeal, I feel, to the younger crowd. People yeah. in their early 20s, they go in, have a good time. Now, Cheap beer. For Cheap sure. beers, yeah. you know, just it, it's a fun place. It's just not for me. And then the water park, we did check it out. Our kids enjoyed it. We went for the afternoon, um, you know, half day. So it was fun. They had some really fun slides. One of them was very aggressive and our, our Logan <laughs> got a little intimidated and scared by we, like, it. We like flew up in the air on the one little and, like, part of the slide. Really, like <laughs> yeah. I smashed my butt real hard. I oh, think they said it was gosh. one of the fastest uh, slides in all of Europe. So like, it was pretty fast. I yeah. got nervous on it and <laughs> I've got on many water slides. And also with me, like me being a lot heavier than the kids, like the weight distribution, like when we get to the bottom of the slides, I kept flipping. So I was like, what the heck? Yeah. Yeah, you, you did quite a few times. It was pretty fun to watch in my end. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, I would say that we, uh, we personally wouldn't return. Definitely not with the kids. I just think yeah. that, yeah, some of the all-inclusives might appeal if you're somewhere in Europe. But if I were to like to... To like, Come you know, compare US. it to like, if I was in the U.S. and I was going to do an all-inclusive or something that style, I would rather just go to Mexico. It's easier, you know, easier flight and everything to go to Mexico. And it's kind of the same atmosphere. Similar. As that. Very yeah. similar to Cancun vibes, I would say, as far as that goes. Yeah. But um, if you're going to Bulgaria, I definitely recommend going nearby. Like, there's a lot of beautiful places nearby to Sunny Beach. Nesebar. Yeah. Nesebar is one of them. So Zopo is not too far away. Borgas, which is our mine my hometown is very, very close. So it, it doesn't hurt to go to Sunny Beach if you're yeah. already in Bulgaria. It's just you need to know what to expect. Exactly. We were going to Nesebar. So actually, we'll be taking you there in the next video yeah, to Nesebar. So the old town Nesebar is Gorgeous. definitely somewhere that you want to go. So we are going to take you there in the next video. So yeah, stay tuned and we will see you on the next one. We'll see you in Nesebar. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Usually our son Connor says that, but uh, he's actually sleeping right now. <laughs> 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 All right, see you guys.